In this example, we're going to talk about grouping objects together and the advantages that that gives us. Now, so far, uh, we've got these chairs here, which may look familiar, and we've got a table that I've made as well. And what we really want to do now is we want to start looking at making these very, very simple, very, very easy to manipulate. But also, we want to start making copies of these. Now, I could just grab all of them with a marquee selection and I could just shift and move them around but that's not maybe one of the most efficient ways of doing this there is a, a slightly different way of doing it which will actually make things a little bit more flexible for us and that's by putting a, a wrapper around all of these these sort of five objects that we see here in front of us the four chairs and the table and calling them a group so you, you group all of these things together. Now, a, a group is very, very useful because it allows you to have different types of objects together in, as it sounds, one group. Yeah, A group doesn't have to be about it's all going to be you know, lights or it's all going to be cameras or it's all going to be geometry. It can be different things. And that's what's really, really useful about this. So what I'm going to do is I will marquee select everything, but I'm coming, going to come to my group tab here and I'm going to click on group. Now I'm being asked for a name here so I'm going to call this table and chairs and I'll click OK and you can see now that the the bounding box that's around that was around each individual object has now gone to sort of the extents of the whole group and you'll also notice that when I select it there isn't anything in the modify panel Okay, I've still got my pivot point here where I can move it from. That's the center of the group. If I click on group again and I need to edit something within that, I can always open the group up, which then gives me this is the group itself that I can move around, or I can select an element within that group, say the table, and I can move the table independently. If I select the group and I go back to group, I can say close, or I've got the option to explode. Oh, I might do that at the end. Uh, but what that does is that completely destroys the group, the wrapper, but leaves the objects intact. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do that right now because it means I've got to go right the way back through the whole process. So, you know, la di da, we'll, we'll leave that be for the moment. So now what I can do, now that I've got that group, is I can select it and I can do exactly what I did when I was cloning an object. I'll press and hold shift. I'll left click and I'll drag. And I'll probably keep it as an instance just for the moment. I'll rotate it round so that it looks at a slightly different angle. And then I can get into selecting both of those two. And with my move tool, shift and drag. And shift and drag out maybe three copies. And we've suddenly gone from having one set of tables and one set of chairs, or one table and one set of chairs, to having quite a few. Now these are all very regimented, so what I'll probably do is I'll come in and I'll just rotate these around very, very slightly. And there we go. We've got some slightly more unique looking tables and chairs. And when we look at this from a nice angle, what we're getting in here is lots of parallax. So you're seeing, you know, you've got seeing through the chairs there, through the tables. There's lots of distance. There's quite a bit of depth in that. And all from using a group in order to help us manipulate the objects that are contained within that group. Other advantages I've got with this are if I say group and I open it and I go to our table here. Let's say, for example, we wanted to do something funky here. So I grab hold of that one face. You can see because all of the other groups were instanced so were their constant so were their um, contents instanced now this is brilliant because it means that even though I didn't actually physically go in and take each individual object and instance it I instanced just the groups it was the contents that are in that are instanced as well and that means as you can see that when I go into one of my groups because somebody said oh actually you know these these tables what we really need in these tables is maybe um, this centerpiece needs to be extruded up so, okay, what I'll do is I'll go and I'll change my selection tool. 
and I'll just select uh, let's see make sure we've got the right thing here I'll just go in and do a little selection there also they want an extrude that's okay we'll just put an extrude on and the extrude isn't just on that one it's on all of the tables I'll select the group I'll say group and close I'll deselect it and there you go I'm left with tables and chairs that all look identical so it's a very, very simple, very, very easy system to use. Remember, you just select whatever it is you want. You say group and you press group. This is obviously already an existing group. So there I've got lots of all the other options in there as well. So again, as I say, very simple, very easy to use and worth spending some time playing around with the file that's included with the training just to have a go at this yourself.